A lot of people get really interested in forex trading when they hear the word leverage. Does that mean I'll be able to make more money? Kind of, but there's a but. What's up guys, welcome back to this video. Today I thought I would look at leverage. It's a question I get very, very, very often. And I don't think I've made a video on that topic before. I think I've mentioned it a couple of times, but I want to take the sensible approach to leverage and something you won't see on YouTube, I think. In the past, I've been saying to people that leverage really didn't matter, but I was a little bit wrong with that. And I want to share exactly how you should figure out what leverage to use based on the math behind it. Now, the goal of leverage is not to make more money. It's not dangerous. It's not gonna make you lose more money. It's just gonna be there as a tool that you can use to kind of manage your risk effectively and still be able to trade and get some reward. For this video, I'll take a very simple example with an account of say $1,000. I just picked this amount because it's easy to calculate and we'll just go with that. So if your account was using a one-to-one -one leverage, which most people won't ever use in Forex and I'm not using that at all, but let's just say that would be the case. With $1,000, you'll be able to buy approximately a thousand units of a currency. Let's say that one unit costs a dollar, which could be the case on some pairs. Now, a thousand units isn't that much, right? It's something that most people would not like to trade necessarily. But what's really important to define first is gonna be your risk. The goal of leverage is only to allow you to use your full risk that you're allowed to take in a trade. And that should be the basic objective. So let's say that your risk per trade is 1% and on a thousand dollar, that would be $10. You'll basically only be allowed to have a stop loss of 100 pip if you were to buy a thousand units to reach your $10 stop loss. And that's not a lot. And you already are all in with all your money, right? which means you cannot trade more. And that's the situation you don't want to be in because there's going to be opportunities in the market that might or might not happen at the same time. And you need to be able to take multiple trades when they happen, not limit yourself to only one. So that's where leverage comes really into play and where you can use it to benefit you, not to hurt you, but use it kind of the smart way. And that's what I want to teach you guys to do right now. If you go on Oenda, which is a broker I use. They have a kind of nice calculator that shows you what you have to put in as a margin. So what you need in your account for whatever leverage you want to use. So let's say you want to use 30 to one as leverage in your account and you buy your USD. Let's say you buy a thousand units, like in our example before. You would only need basically $40 in your account, which is allowing you to take more trades, right? And your risk is not bigger. Your risk is the same because you control it with your stop loss. You take profits the same, everything's the same except that you will be able to take more trades. So with that in mind, it's kind of logical to take more leverage, but you must be careful not to get to a point where you are too high, where if you make a mistake, you could be screwed. And that's basically the basic premise. If you control your risk the same way, no matter what leverage you use, just understand that you need to be able to take the trades you take on average. I try to go back in time, figure out how many trades have I taken at the same time on different currency pairs. And if the answer is five, ensure that your leverage allows you to take five trades. If the answer is 10, ensure that the leverage you have allows you to take 10 trades. And my leverage in my account, I just looked it up for fun, is set to 30 to one, which is what I, what I showed you guys in the example. It's, it's fine, I won't ever use 30 to one because I will be able to take way too many trades to reach the full amount of my account. But it's there just so that it's easier and I don't have to worry about it. So hope this makes sense. Hope you guys get some value with that question. And I hope the issue is clear. But if you have any questions, comment below. Let me know your thoughts as always. Like the video if you liked it today. And subscribe to see more videos like this. There's one every single day, on average. <laughs> but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.